This is episode 35 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, March 15th, 2021. Guest host Josh joins us to try a smoothie sour, a triple dry hopped double IPA, and a blended imperial stout. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. Got your other host, Charlie. Yo, yo. We got tech guy, Steve. Hello. And we got special guest host, Josh. Hey, guys. How's it going? Josh. JP, we call him. Outstanding. Pastor (laughs) Payne. So as it is, we got a couple of beers uh, to get to and uh, got a couple of beers from uh, from Humble Sea and another beer from uh, Ferris Falcon and Great Notion. So, uh, Charlie, let's get right to it. Let's get to cracking. What's the uh, what's the first beer you got, Charlie? Mm, I don't know. You guys are gonna have to wait. <laughs> so it looks like this first Whoa. beer that 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 Charlie has is Dessert Pop Super Sunday Deluxe Slush. from Humble Sea. Yeah, try that one. Slush Master, it looks like. So uh, they they uh, they call this a decadent smoothie uh, series, uh, bursting with chocolate, uh, peanut butter, banana, and vanilla. Uh, There's so a lot is, of bananas in there. I was gonna say, just from the smell, I got banana right off the right off the. Uh, what else was it? Uh, uh, chocolate, vanilla, bananas, and peanut butter. I'm not tasting peanut butter, but you know what? It's um, it's a good try. I'll give them that. Well, this- it's a little different than than the super pop that they normally yeah. do. That's bursting yeah. with fruit, right? Yeah. It, if you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the first beer like this that they've done too, as well? Like the first this style correct. with the the dark chocolatey. It's it's. Gosh, when you used to drinking the answer. Or even 450 North. I, I'm going to go with, I, I mean, I don't know for sure, but it's definitely got a um, the PB2 kind of yeah. textured, like that powdery peanut butter. I, I don't know. I'm pr- Probably that's what they use, something it like a great. dehydrated. It's not bad. I like the peanut no, butter. No, it's not bad. I like bad. the banana. The chocolate's a little light on it. I'd like a little more chocolate. A lot of banana up front yeah, like when banana. it's cold here. I don't know what I'm tasting, but it's it's also tart. It's got a little bite to it, whatever it is. Yeah, it's got like a little Berlinery tartiness yeah. to it. Yeah, that's deep. That's different. That's a little different. But uh, hey, I'm gonna say nice try. Actually, I kind of like it. You know, like a little banana sour. Yeah. You like it? I do. I do. Yeah. You know, I don't know if I would. I would like. I was gonna. Um, I was gonna pop one of these last night. I haven't had this yet, but I, I was gonna pop one last night, and then I, I kind of thought. Um, I don't know if I. would could drink twelve ounces of it, yeah, or sixteen ounces of it, but the good eight ounces of it be uh, be all right. Yeah, I, that's how I feel about it too. Like it's a definitely it's share. a taster. It's a share beer. Yeah, it's definitely a taster. I mean, I, how much alcohol is in there? Eight. Well, there you go. That's a helper. <laughs> it is. A, it, they call it an ale wit chocolate. So oh, okay. it is. It, that's probably that tang. They probably do have some right. like tang coming in there because it does have that a little. All bit right. Too. Well, that's fair. You know. I don't have it. I'm not going to say I it's, t- it's... I don't uh, taste the peanut butter, though. No, I don't taste any peanut butter. But I, some chocolate on that back end, banana bit, up yeah. front. But, I, I mean, maybe the maybe the chocolate is disguising the peanut butter or vice versa. I don't I, know. I think the bananas... Bananas are taking super a lot of that. overpowering. But, hey, you know what? Like I said, it's a good try. I mean, good start. Let's do it again with some fruity stuff. More fruity stuff. That's what I say. Just a, my personal opinion. Not to be, you know correct or incorrect but like i said you like it i do like it i you know it's um i think it's tasty i I like the bananas um i like bananas and beers Mm -hmm. and cheerios Mm -hmm. not in beer but in bananas and cheerios yeah i the it's all it is and i'm not the biggest banana beer fan oh yeah just not good but it's bananas in it you don't get it Just they squeeze the whole banana in each can. No, there's just a over. banana. That's it. <laughs> but I, I do like it. It's it's got I like the tanginess of it. Kind of gives it a a little different. It's interesting. I'll give them that. Flavor, I'm just this is the first thing I've tasted from them that's that hasn't you know overwhelmed me with how good it is. Wait, so next week is their uh, their fourth anniversary. Mm. They're releasing a box. Uh, they have like uh, I think five different beers in there. I saw that. Yeah. I saw yeah. it too. Pretty was- um. Like they got a West Coast IP in there with Beechwood. They got a Pills with uh, yeah. The collaborations Island Park. Are, yeah, Equilibrium. Other half. Yeah. Well, um, there you go. 
Yeah, they're half on their stout. There's definitely some heavy hitters. Comes in a box. We'll, I'm sure we'll look at those. I always like their emails whenever they come in. I open it right away. <laughs> yeah, they're great. I love their communication. Piece. That's another brewery I'm, I'm a big fan of. Humble Sea? Humble Sea. Not a bad place to be. Yeah, they're good people up there. I went uh, uh, this last summer, drove through there and you know made a last minute crawler order. And they're like, yeah, we'll have it for you in 10 minutes, even though, you know, you're supposed to do it like an hour ahead of time. But they, they still hooked me up. So it was, it was a good, good drop. Good stop. On to our next. Fan. So our, our next beer here, um, Charlie has uh, the Legend of Faulkner Bob and his Majestic Birds. Let me tell you about that smell on that. So this, uh, this Lord, one right that's here. some hoppy smell there, dude. So this is a... Uh, a triple dry hopped double IPA with Citra, Mosaic, Motueka, and Rewaka hops. Happy Motueka. 60th birthday to Bob Harrow. Cheers. So this is a collaboration with Ferris Falcon, which we which we know to be uh, um, Horace, Kyle from Horace, and, and Mason Elworks. They're, they're kind of mashup, uh, and their their collaborator with this was Great Notion. Good looking beer. It's not see-through, but it's not a hazy, but dang, it smells hoppy. Uh, another good brewery, uh, great notions. Love those guys. Good mm. people. So this is supposed to be tasty, uh, very uh, tasty, uh, de- very citrusy, right on the nose. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw that look around. Whoa, yeah. Steve looking around. Make sure everybody yeah. had, had yeah. some. So <laughs> could dump the rest. Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at they all got glasses. I'm filling mine up. <laughs> Definitely super hoppy up. Cheers, Bob. Nose is just punch you right in the face with that the hops there. Mm. That is a gooder. It's a gooder, man. That's really good. So they, um, they, I think the, um, the great notion component of this was their, uh, I think it's J, I think it's JB now, or it used to be Juice Jr. Yeah. Um, was their, uh, uh, was, was kind of the, the takeoff that they had there. Super I, tasty. This is awesome. I mean, I've, I've been, I've been a big fan of, of the last couple of, uh, Ferris releases. Um, this one, I think, certainly takes the cake. I mean, it's... Uh, the can art is awesome. <laughs> it, With his dad's picture and the hawks over, or the falcons over his head. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's yeah. a good beer, huh? Oh, my gosh. So, so it's super hazy, super hoppy. What do you think of that, Josh? Yeah, it's great. I, you know, it's, it's, it's a hazy that has that, like little bit of West Coast hoppiness to it, but then it finishes with a nice soft balance. To I think it. these are my three favorite hops: is the uh, Citra, the Citra Mosaic, or I guess four, and uh, Motueka and Raiwaka. Raiwaka, man, those are good. Yeah, they're, it's really good. I like. It's uh, eight point two percent. The nose fits the beer, like when you mm-hmm. smell it. It's that whole experience Absolutely. that kind of just it all kind of flows together. I like th- it's got a bit of a, a bite for like you know almost not because it's a triple so there's there's definitely some uh, um, a triple dr- yeah triple dry dry hop yeah. yeah yeah right so it's just it's um, super good man super good. that's a juicy bomb there man let me tell you it yeah, just it leaves your mouth wanting more of it sorry yeah no it's great like there's uh, certainly uh, I, I taste you know a lot of grapefruit in there mm-hmm. I think so how's the dry hop thing work. Single dry hop, double dry hop, triple mm-hmm. dry hop. I don't, I don't get it. They dry hop the beer, adding more hops after fermentation yeah. to bring out the resins of the hop as they go. So usually, it's usually in a seven day window they'll dry hop, and then if they're tri- it kind of depends on the brewery, I think a little bit, but they'll dry hop. They'll add three units of hops as it's finishing out fermentation. So rather than boiling the hops, they're just putting in, and what you get is just the resin out of the hops and the sweetness from it too. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's Tastes a super good. tasty beer. They should do that all the time. <laughs> yeah, they they did until you see how much it costs for yeah. a pound of hops. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was uh, probably wasn't the cheapest beer that they've made. It's phenomenal, man. That's uh, great. Um, yeah, they they did say like straight away it sold out in less than five minutes. Um, it was like four minutes and fifty eight seconds. I think was Horace's component is is what. It, so they were like, we certainly need to make more make more beer. Um, as far as availability, uh, that 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 Super Pop the Super Pop series they release uh, I think once a month. Um, they'll sell out really quick. Uh, the and and um, 
Ferris Falcon is normally, you have to be a member of one of the two clubs, Mason or Convocation. Uh, this release, there was a, uh, a beer store, a liquor store, I think in, um, or somewhere up in LA, uh, that, that actually carried, I think, 20 cases they got wow. right down the wow. road from where, uh, um, Kyle's dad lives. <laughs> oh, just as like a His regular, home and like yeah, I think it was yeah, shop. one of the spots That's right nice. down the road type deal. That's kind of a cool. I like that for sure. You know, the like guy go in and uh, you know you go in on your birthday and there's uh, you know everybody's lined up to buy a beer with your face on it. <laughs> Nicely done, Kyle. No, that's some great beer, man. Good choice. Good move. We're gonna go uh this one next. Um should we hit that got? uh should we hit that stout? Yeah. Uh no, no, the other no. one? The kook. Kook yeah. club. There you go. Hey, what's the uh do you guys have any good beers this week? I picked up something from Topa 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 Topa. Uh the Spectro A Z Indian Pale Ale. I think it's like one of their standards. That's pretty good. I like it. Uh, I'm I'm still on that uh, lager pills kick, and uh, one of my favorites came back, and it was as good as I remember. Okio Malokio re-released. I think Chris, you, you got some of that too. That I, it's like, it's it's the smoothest, most easiest drinking Italian pills I've ever had. I just, it's crusher. Like you come home after a days of work, you're like, and you're like, you want four. But you shouldn't. But it's that easy and clean. So. Yeah, it's super good, huh? How about you, Charlie? You have any good beers this week? No. A good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a couple. What uh, was your best? What was your best beer? Yeah, your I figured this beer? out now that I'm only allowed to say one. <laughs> <laughs> Three, Thirty podcasts. In. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> it's. I guess you can teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> um, actually. Uh, the best beer I had was um, was that uh, IPA from Harlan. Mm. The uh, uh, the hazy IPA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was Sorry, I'm sniffing this bottle of stout. My apologies. Um, I actually uh, I'm a big West Coast guy. So uh, last week Charlie and I went to this uh, this Moster Experience thing where they had Harlan. It was a uh, um, they had Harlan there. Um. So I, I, I think Charlie really liked the the hazy IPA. I was a uh, big fan of their West Coast IPA. It was phenomenal. Yeah, that was um, the India Pale Whale was the name of it. Yeah, that was really good, good West Coast IPA. I thought That's it was a great name. I thought it, it was a, a phenomenal pale ale. <laughs> now it's a West Coast. I thought it was a pale ale. Um, India Pale Whale. Mm-hmm. You thought that was a pale ale? I thought it was a whale, but I guess we were both wrong. What does it say? <laughs> it says it's a. Uh, um, it says it's an IPA. It says it's a uh, West Coast IPA. Actually, this is what the, their write-up says. Uh, um, I'm trying to get a picture of the can. Mm. It had mm. a whale on it. <laughs> it says. Uh, Must have been a whale then. Cairo hopped uh, India Pale Ale. There you go. So it doesn't say West Coast. Doesn't say West Coast. So that's no, where the trick was. I think it was just super crisp and just uh, the whale was what confused me. The mm-hmm. non-existing West Coast was <laughs> so what confused. It, it, we were on the West Coast when I drank it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that a you got a picture of it there? I do. It was it pretty clear? Oh yeah, that's pretty clear. Yeah, certainly isn't a hazy. No, no, it was phenomenal. It was it really was good. good. I was I was a fan with Harlan. It was Harlan. good. Mm-hmm. That one was definitely. A plus on my on my book, but uh, what do you think of these boy? What do you think of this? St- oh, Chris is just pouring. He didn't. He didn't even so this is it. another humble sea, right? Oh yeah, it is another humble sea. The Kooks so, Club. Um, this is yeah, Kooks Club Blend One for 2021. Uh, this was a members only stout. Part of uh, so so part of their membership, I think, is a dozen bottles. I think they do six releases for the, for the club a year, uh, stouts, and then some. Uh, and maybe a, maybe a sour like a saison something like that. I don't think they're all stouts, but they I think there's four Kooks blends that come out that are stouts. So this is blend number one. Uh, this is the bottle that I think we we ended or ended up with a couple extras. There you usually get two of each um, for the membership, but they had uh, they gave you the option to trade in another bottle and, and get an extra mm. bottle of this. Um, so it's a Josh. What's the side of that bottle say? I'm reading. I'm looking at it right now. 2021 Kooks, 
Kooks blend is a blend of three different imperial stout recipes aged 15 years in vanilla infused bourbon barrels, mm. 18 months in sea salt infused bourbon barrels, and 26 months in Woodford Reserve barrels. Mm. We finish the blend with by conditioning it on fresh vanilla from Uganda, Madagascar, and Fiji. That's it's a unique. It's, a, it's really good. Yeah. I I do. Um, the more I have them, I love blended stouts. I think are just the most complex beers you can find. Mm-hmm. Um, and I you get a little hint of that saltiness, but it brings out the sweetness of the vanilla. It's really good. That's a really good combination. Okay. I'm smelling a rich vanilla smell. That definitely barrel. A, a lot of vanilla. It's kind of salty, like a salty vanilla. Like mm-hmm. it's um. I like that. Okay. Salted. So caramel. this is this is a, a weird pull, but there, Costco has these like chocolate chewy things with salt sprinkled on top of it. This is probably the closest liquid version to that. Yeah, no, I, I think I know what you're talking about. I, my my wife's a big fan of those. The um, super creamy, yeah. super uh, like vanilla and and salty. Like I really like that salty component yeah. of it. Well, it's got a delicious smell compared to, you know, this that really sharp barrel smell. You just that vanilla mellows it out. Oh gosh, it smells great. That's delightful. That's definitely. I I'm like. I'm, I want to keep drinking it, but I also want it to warm up a little more because I think it's going to get more complex. Um, so I'm just going to hold it in my hand and, and cup it. You go ahead. So when you read off all the things that they did, is that, how long do you think it takes to get it from the start to the to the bottle? It, one of them. So was, 18 months was the longest, right? No, 26 months in Woodford Reserves barrels. So this is is a. Two and probably two and a half year process. Wow! Right? Yeah, from brewing it to, uh, yeah, for the for yeah, at least one component of it. Oh, takes a while. It's blended, so they're t- they're. My guess is they they're taking some from each of sure. those three, and and uh, or the full allotment of barrel the three, or whatever, yeah, right? A barrel of each, but uh, but yeah, it's really good. I. The bourbon's not overpowering, which the vanilla helps with. That saltiness makes it even sweeter, I think, and and makes you want to keep drinking it because it's salty. So, damn them. <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's a, a a pretty tasty beer. I'm a fan of uh, Humble. It's probably my favorite beer brewery right now outside of San Diego. I think part of it is their 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 club, the access that I get, and how quick they ship. I think it's door to door delivery is what you prefer. I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> I, you know, the other thing too, and this is what I appreciate about breweries in general now is the variety of beers they come out with. Like they they hit the whole full gamut. I mean, I still I don't know you Dankness. I think was the first time a couple of years ago. Dankness was the first time I had. They had the Chronic of Narnia or Chronicles yeah. of Narnia was the first beer I had from them. And I just was like, oh my goodness, so good. Like, wait, I didn't even heard of them. Right. They're like popping cans. They're not, they didn't bring kegs. They're popping right. cans. They, yeah, that's right. They, and that's I could, right. From then on, I can't, couldn't get enough of the stuff. And so it's just, it's really good. And they're, you know, they're not a huge brewery, but they, they put their foot in everything, which is great. They do a lot of, uh, quite a few collaborations. And, and like we'd mentioned, you know, their collaborations, they're, they're releasing a, quite a few of them this, this next week, uh, which would be great it's all the way across their, their gamut. Um, but yeah, they, they they certainly release a lot of a lot of beers. Usually six beers a, a week or something canned. I, I don't know if that that continues once we completely open back up. Um, I wasn't really buying a whole lot of beer from them prior to uh, going into the pandemic, so I don't know what their canning looked like a year ago. So this is, since this is blended, do you think do they put out the other beers? Like, you know, will they use just the? Yeah, they may have. I don't know if it if it was like the same base stout. Is it uh, that they just threw into? You know, they're like, hey, we have these barrels, right? right. I don't know what their barrel program it looks like. It says three there. different imperial stout recipes. Hmm. Yeah, so those could be they they could, could be, be three different bottles. beers. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It could three, have been three different bottles they could do, too, along with this blended thing. Mm-hmm. Correct. Yeah. Because right. right. yeah. the complexity there just yeah. seems to be, especially but, when you say, oh, they're not a big brewery, then how many stouts can they actually be making along with all these, you know, I, dozens or more beers? It seems like they're delivering Right. They're every pushing month. out crazy amounts of beers. Um yeah, I don't know. That's like how many machines? I mean, how many? 
I I haven't been there. I yeah. haven't I haven't been to their brewery. I it's, know that they're in the process of of uh, expanding. You know, yeah. they're they're making three other tap rooms, and I think trying to create a production brewery. I think is on their. You can look on their website, and it shows their prospectus, like their mm-hmm. their business outlook. Like, hey, um, I my being there, I do. I mean, just I would I know for a fact they're going to have more barrels coming out because they had a adjacent building full of barrels mm. so i think it does take it takes time to develop sure. a barrel system it, you're you, you know they're I, four years old right i mean it takes time to get that going and, and doing it right and so it's i think you're gonna we're gonna start seeing more of these types of beers from them so i'm pretty excited about it because like i said i haven't had anything out of there that i've been like oh i'm not gonna finish that ball bo- you know that glass you know type of thing no, they're everything they make is pretty delicious. I, I, I love their. The one that hit me the best was that uh, wave. What was it? The one we had with the bananas in it and uh, the stout. Pastry wave. Pastry wave. Yeah, that. that um, thing was or it was co- so it was coconut coffee and uh, vanilla. Well, the, no, that was the cocoa and uh, cashews and nibs. Remember? I think you're. Um, that's what you're thinking about, but I'm thinking about the pastry wave with the bananas and vanilla and everything in it. That was amazing. Remember, we bought four bottles, and then I said, I wonder if we can get some more of those. You said, there's still more. I said, we'll get two more. Are you talking about the uh, the pastry stout with vanilla bean, coconut, and verve coffee? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first beer that we had that was phenomenal. Yeah. But that but- banana coconut narnar is the one that you're talking about, the other one. That was the beer that they let us trade in. To get this bottle, okay, mm-hmm. that's how we ended up with this extra bottle here. The um, that I mean, that was one of my favorite beers of probably 2020. It yeah. was um, phenomenal. But that that cashew and nibs was that was great too. That was a crowler that came down originally, and then I found out that we could get some more, <laughs> so we ordered a bunch more of them. There's now a UPS truck that just drives straight just from Humble Sea to just they do G- GLS. Um, but they're great. You know, the guy tore up my yard one yeah, time. No problem. Got hung up. I, <laughs> I have this great video of the guy just like, and he was, man, he was going to give it the old college try to get out of my uh, yard. It was raining mm-hmm. and he backed in. You've been, you've yeah, been around yeah. and he like kind of backed out. I'm like, there's no way this guy gets out like in a rear wheel drive van. He's yeah. just throwing rocks and dirt. And I was just like watching him. And the next guy, the time the guy came over, now, now he just parks in my street and walks over. He's like, Hey man. Sorry about your yard. I'm like, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> As he drives away. So that's yeah, ripping was, it up. I was gonna have my beard delivered over here to Charlie's house, but where the that's guy didn't dangerous. have the option of driving. There's a, there's a high yards. tariff. Yeah, that. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> the flip side is, yeah, exactly. I have some landscaping to do, but I get my beer or I just don't get my beer, right? <laughs> you At drive least, over well, here you get your, half of it, maybe. You could drive over here in your scooter and take a four pack home every time. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. All like, right. So, what do you guys think of those beers? Uh, that that one that stout is a great. four point seven, four point eight. Yeah. So, so today we had the uh, the 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 dessert pop, the uh, uh, super Sunday deluxe, the chocolate banana and uh, um, chocolate banana. What else was there? Smoothie. Peanut, uh, peanut butter. butter. Yeah, peanut butter, vanilla, chocolate. Uh, we also had the. Um, the Ferris Falcon, Great Notion, and then we had the uh, uh, the Kooks Club Blend One. Which was your guys' favorite? Well, it's got to be the Stout, right? I'm I, big Stout fan. It's it's hard. I think I'm going to go with the 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 Ferris Falcon. You're going Ferris Falcon? Yeah, yeah. Fer- Ferris. The Stout Falcon. was fun. I, I mean, fantastic, but that that IPA was. Delicious. I I think you know looking you know stepping back taking a peek at them like I, gosh I I love that Stout. But the um, I haven't had an IPA that was that good in quite some time. I think. Just the how about you, Josh? You're going stout. I I think so. I I mean, he's a stout it, it, whore. I am. A, I, I, <laughs> well, I wouldn't say whore, but you know. well, okay. <laughs> big big stout fan. Whore um, ass slut. No. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, it, great. All, the last two are great. The IP is IPA is really great. The stouts are, but I do love I blended stouts with chocolate notes and add the vanilla and the salt in there and it's just like yeah but pouring them into your mouth at different bottles into your mouth at the same time doesn't count <laughs> <laughs> I, I blended before you know in 
you know, in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> can we, can, uh, yeah, Cuvée the, uh, can the we Ultra. Can we tell the story about Josh at the wedding? <laughs> it's the best story ever. Do, do it. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> well, we had these all these bottles, these big bottles and stuff in the in the cooler, and I had forgotten about them. And Josh comes to me and he says, uh, hey, are we ever going to get into that cooler or what? And I'm like, oh, crap. I forgot all about it. Yeah, go ahead. Rip something out of there and bring it to me. You know, let's drink some bottles. So I think you brought two and you said, what do you want to do? And there were two big yeah, bottles. One, the one I remember, my my favorite one of that was the Revolution of the Moon, was yeah. the cherry cider with vanilla, or cherry sour with vanilla. That was vanilla. a big bottle. That was a 1.5. And I think I took it to the dance floor, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah, because I, I said- I think there's footage of that. I think you asked somewhere. me if we got any pictures of you and I've said, no, nah, there was nothing, just you dancing, nothing in special- and then I said, oh, well, and I send you a picture of you with the bottle and you're dancing okay. with the bottle. And I said, that's that. I think that's you. <laughs> I made sure everybody was going to get some. That's, yeah, you poured a little really... in everybody's Dixie cup that night. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was fantastic fun. Good times. Sure. Good bottle, though. Good uh, bottle. That was a good bottle. Yeah, no, there was definitely some good bottles to be had that night. There was uh, no stouts, though. Remember that? I think we uh, refrained from those because the alcohol the, content. Well, I think what we had uh, millions, uh, thousands of money, thousands of money was on tap. I think we had new damage. Yeah, uh, we had There's definitely uh, some pre- a decent tap mm-hmm. list. We had some sure. modern times. Yeah, the, the one you usually can't get other yeah. than at uh, Trader Joe's, and then um, uh, accumulated knowledge. Ah, uh, yes, that's and we had. Passion pool. Oh, that's yeah, right. You did have some pretty good beers on tap yeah. for sure. And so by the time we got to the bottles, and then somebody reluctantly bought a brought a uh, Coors Light keg. They did. Your doctor, I believe. Yeah, and he went home with uh, fourteen point five gallons of. Probably still has it. <laughs> <laughs> so on that note, guys, I think uh, uh, thanks for listening. Uh, once again, we had the we had a couple beers from Humber, Humble Sea and a uh, um, another beer from Ferris Falcon. A great show, boys. Awesome stuff. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for having me, guys. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the PodCraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The PodCraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The PodCraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. In compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.